Hey, uh, this is Luke here with CatsAndCarb.com, and me and my boy Tommy are going to show you the new this boat. This is the uh, Gill Getter Fishing Cruise 713 by uh, Apex Marine, and uh, we got this boat all decked out for cat fishing and carp fishing, and for doing so with a small one around. So as you see, I have a very active boy who's almost two years old, and I like to spend time with him, but I also like to fish. And uh, let's just say uh, our attempts to put him in a <laughs> our attempts to put him in a canoe were disastrous. So we got this boat out uh, so that we could take him fishing. So let me give you a few features. First of all, as you can see, this is a mini pontoon or a compact pot pontoon, as they like to say. It's seven feet by thirteen feet. Okay, fits uh, five adults comfortably. Uh, can hold eight, it's rated for eight passengers or one two year old. So, um, as you can see, it's got a child proof rail around on the uh, around the boat. And uh, I have got uh, eight of these uh, rod holders, they're adjustable rod holders. You can move them either, any which way, and then you can adjust this knob to, to change the angle. And so right now I've got five rods out. I've got some cut bait out there. And uh, the rods also have this little locking mechanism in there. You put the rod in, you flip this little switch down, and it makes it so neither Fish nor Tommy can easily throw them into the water. And uh, he tries often, so this is important. Um, the front of the boat, I've got uh, an 80 an 80 pound uh, Ming Kota motor with the iPilot system on it and it is absolutely fabulous. If you don't know anything about the iPilot system, there's a, a couple things. First off, there's a foot pedal uh, that comes with this. Uh, I'm sure you've seen those before so you can steer the boat. I take it off because Tommy likes to dance on it and instead I use this thing. I've got it on a lanyard around my neck. It's a remote control that cut, that controls the, the boat so I can change speed and thrust and direction but the real humdinger is I got something called the uh, water anchor I hit one button right here and the Minn Kota talks to my GPS it marks the GPS location and the motor will autopilot hold the boat in that position so if I'm kind of drifting along and I find a really nice spot and I want to stay on top of it ooh, just got a hit there I want to stay on top oh yeah yeah come on On, bend over. Come on, stay down. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, we are on. Hold on a second. I gotta take care of business. Sorry. Um, any rate, um, the the uh, water anchor feature on the Minn Kota iPilot system. You hit a button. Uh, the Minn Kota communicates with the GPS, tells it exactly where or to hold the boat and uh, within a few feet depending on the conditions it'll keep the boat stationary in one place it's a really nifty little feature you mean cruising along and decide you want to just uh, stay put and bam it just puts you right there it's really nice um, as you can see it's got a couple fishing chairs these swivel around it's got some uh, standard rod holders uh, and Right here, see, I've got the Hummingbird 899 uh, uh, 899CI high-def sonar GPS combo. This uh, has the down imaging and the side imaging, and it also has uh, the GPS built in, and it links up with the iPilot uh, system, and that's pretty nice. This thing's uh, pretty good. We'll show you a little demo here when we're actually moving, but uh, it works amazing. You can see logs and all sorts of little details. Um, on the back here I've got a Yamaha 9.9. .9. Uh, it's got uh, all the little little features you want. I got a 9.9 .9 on it because that's the restrictions here on this lake um, and I live on this lake so I'm you know obviously want to be able to use my boat on it. And a uh, nice little trick I found for mooring up is I go ahead and drop anchor and uh, pull the anchor line tight 
and then I put my uh, Minn Kota on the lowest setting. Ooh, there's a nice, nice hit. I put the Minn Kota on the lowest setting, and uh, the Minn Kota holds the holds the boat tight, and the tension between the motor pulling the boat and the anchor holding it back keeps it really still. So it's great for bottom fishing. And uh, so even when there's uh, when uh, you've got no current and uh, no no steady wind, or you've got a changing wind. Uh, you can go and just go to town on it. Like you can see right now, I'm in the middle of this uh, the river portion of a reservoir and the current's moving slightly to the left. And so I just got the Minn Kota angled slightly to the right and that's keeping me more or less stay, uh, straight even though I'm anchored cross to the current. So it's, it's fabulous. Um, but at any rate, love this boat. Tommy loves the boat. It's got a nice bimini top, keep you dry when it starts to uh, uh, rain. It's got little mooring lights for night fishing. Um, and most of all, you flathead junkies, it has got a massive live well. Which I'm not using right now because we're channel cat fishing, we're using frozen bait. But man, you can fill that thing full of shad. Um, at any rate, it's got a lovely little boat. It's the uh, Apex Gill Getter 713 Fishing Cruise. Um, with uh, a few little bells and whistles added onto it. Oh, ho, ho.